Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So somebody sent me a video and in the video, the author was saying you need to develop a brand as a freelancer. We're talking about branding. No, in a strict terms, branding is about building, you know, like name recognition like Apple, Microsoft, you know, uh, you know Canon for cameras, etc. Porsche, that's a brand. But as a freelancer, it's about reputation, which I guess if you really want to stretch the meaning of brand, I guess you can say that. But really, as a freelancer, what's going to make you successful is you have a really good reputation. You establish a good reputation by being known within the community. If you start freelancing, typically you're going to be dealing with small business. Small business owners know other small business owners. They all hang out. You know, birds of a feather flock together. So the way it works typically in the freelance game, when you're first starting out, unless you have a lot of content, it's kind of unless you have a lot of contacts it's kind of bumpy at first, you know, no clients, no clients, eh, you get a little client and, you know, client, no client, eh, and then another client, and all of a sudden you got many clients. Because small business owners will talk to other small business owners. The best type of freelancing is local, of course, in a particular uh, geographical zone, or maybe online on a particular platform where you're known on a platform, you got a good rep on the platform. But that's, uh, that's the situation. So if you want to a kick off your freelance career. It's about building a good, solid reputation. Of course, when you're freelancing, it's mostly about the web, especially at first. And it's mostly, it's going to be about WordPress, Shopify, maybe even modifying Wix sites or Squarespace sites, etc. And you also have to be a generalist as a freelancer. That means you have to not, you can't just be a back end guy and you can't just be a front end guy. Or a girl. You can't just be, you know, you have to have a broad set of skills. You have to have a bit of full stack. You don't have to be a master full stack, but having full stacks will make you uh, very useful. Having PHP, HTML, CSS, a little bit of SQL, a little bit of database, a little bit of WordPress, and then understand a little bit about hosting, understand a little bit about SEO, a little bit about uh, web marketing. You see, most people, if they're going to, most small business rather, they're going to put up a website, they want to be found, right? Having a website that can't be found is not useful to them. So they're very concerned about that. If they're going to spend money on you to put up a website or modify a website, if you can come in and say, I can also get your social media up and running, I can get your SEO, your Google My Business up and running, this is going to play a big role uh, whether or not they're going to go with you or not. Last tip, when it comes to freelancing, make sure your site looks good. And when you do show up to meetings, whether it's virtually or whatnot, make sure you act like a professional. You don't dress like me with a hoodie and a hat. That's not acceptable. When you go in there, don't go with a suit. Nobody trusts a nerd in a suit. But dress well, maybe, you know, a collared shirt, you know, uh, clean shoes, clean jeans. Make sure your nails are cut, don't smell. These are all important. People are going to judge you very quickly about how you present yourself. And if you don't present yourself as a professional, they're just going to assume that you're not going to conduct yourself as a professional, meaning your code's not going to be good. The website you develop for them or the apps you develop for them, it's not going to be good. So present yourself well. Last story. So my very, one of my biggest clients, they had many small businesses. So uh, they told me about after a year of working with them, they said the reason they went with me is because they came to my place of work. They came to my office. And they saw that the office was very clean. I didn't have coffee cups everywhere and crap on the floor. Everything was clean. I'm a bit of a neat freak. I'm an obsessive compulsive. That's why I was a good developer in the day. But you got to be clean. And they judged me based on the cleanliness and the neatness of how you know, I lived, how I was uh, working. They liked the work environment. I said, oh, this guy's clean. He's got a right clean code. They were right, by the way. But little things like that can make a difference. For example, you go, if you go into a meeting... Don't be late. That's the worst thing you can do. Even if you're one minute late, don't be late. Be five minutes early. So I, when I used to drive in to see the clients initially as a freelancer, uh, if I was driving there or I was taking public transport, I would be sure to get there 30 minutes early. Now, I wouldn't go into the office 30 minutes early because that's stupid and rude, but I would get in there 30 minutes early just, just in case something would happen. You know, things happen, uh, traffic, whatnot, you know. So I would get there 30 minutes early and I would wait outside the office until five minutes before the meeting. And then I would walk in. Sometimes it saved me because sometimes stuff happens. You know, you have an accident or you can't find parking or the metro is blocked for 20 minutes. You, you'll be happy you got that extra 30 minutes. So make sure you give yourself some buffer zone when you're going into meetings that you always show up on time. Don't waste people's time. Don't waste people's time. 
especially business owners. They don't have time. They don't want to talk. They don't have time to waste because, you know, they're in business. They got 10,000 things they got to do. So don't waste people's time. Be on time. Present well and uh, speak well. Let them speak. Don't over talk people. And if you do that, chances of you being successful will increase 269%. All right, I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in software development, full stack, front end, back end. I mentor people in starting a business, freelancing, everything, and so much more. Everything that I do is based on personal experience. You can go to unclesteph.com. Right now, I have my code, my coding bootcamp mentoring program. But I'm launching a new program, which is based on business and entrepreneurship and so much more. That's a separate program that's coming out soon. I'm recording this, what is it, January 7th, third week of January, perhaps it will come out. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me two thumbs down. If you like the hat, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the hat, I don't care. And uh, I don't know where I bought this hoodie. I bought three copies somewhere when I found it, and I like it. So, But I don't know where it is, where I bought it, in all honesty. People ask me all the time. That's why I mention it. Cheers. Cheers.